The TAE LLN 411 unit is about understanding firstly, what needs your learners have. So how do we gauge where they're at in terms of their understanding of things like texts, um, comprehension, basic numeracy, things like dates, times, stuff like that. Also, as part of that unit, we learn about the Australian Core Skills Framework. This is a scale of one to five that we can place our learners on. It's come out recently that as much as 60% of people who are unemployed and nearly 40% of employed Australians don't have the sufficient levels of literacy, language and, and numeracy to function normally in today's working environment. The ACSF level three is considered the minimum standard that we need for the information technology era that we're now entering. As part of the LLN assessment, we get you to go through a couple of examples and rate for yourself where you think people would sit based on their life experiences and so on, education levels, uh, previous job experience, experience directly in the industry involved. Then we look at some examples that we've provided you. The one example we use, uh, there's a video from Unity Water, and they talk about implementing a language that you see in numeracy strategy. We get you to pick through those videos and answer a few questions based on how Unity Water have implemented strategies to address language that you see in numeracy amongst their workers. We also get you to reflect upon how your organisation deals with things like this. Do you have a language literacy and numeracy test when people enrol? Then finally, we'll get you to have a look at your tools that you use. They may be presentations, they may be handouts, and modify those as if you had a group that were lower in literacy than expected. Quite often people use things like symbols, more images. Images are great. As they say, pictures tell a thousand words. It's much easier for somebody in lower literacy levels to be able to determine what's going on from an image than a whole bunch of words.